Hey guys, welcome to Quadra Scenery again. Today I'm going to do a how-to video on using the USB linker by Turnigy to reflash your Simon KESCs. Now in order to reflash a Simon KESC using this device, which connects to the servo cable, um, you have to already have a Simon KESC that was flashed with the boot loader. You're going to be plugging them in one of your controllers. And here, I'm going to pull off number motor number one, which is this motor here. Just plug in here. You actually have to apply power separately to the ESC. I've actually tested flashing both with the positive and negative on there, and it, it works, but I didn't want to fry my linker, so I did cut off um, plus voltage there. But when we're all ready to go, I applied power to the quad, and then we fire up the flashing software. Now I'm going to go to my computer and show you what tools need to be downloaded and installed in order to do the flashing. Go to the device manager, so go to start, computer, right click on computer, bring up properties, select device manager, and what you're going to see here is something called other devices. CP210 USB to UR bridge controller. So the device driver isn't there. You can get the device driver on my website at quadrasteria.com. Quadrasteria is Q U A D R Y S T E R I A dot com. Go to products and accessories. You will see USB linker. And here I have a link to the driver and just click download file and we're going to save that file. Download is completed and here it is. I'm going to double click and open that zip folder and extract it, extract the whole folder to your desktop. Open up this folder and you have to choose between uh, whether you have a 64-bit operating system or 32-bit. If you have a 32-bit, select the x86. I have a 64-bit, so I'm going to select to install that one. I'm going to say yes, next, accept, next. It's installing. And it should come back and say the Silicon Laboratories device is updated. Device finish. Um, if you go back to the device manager under ports, you will now see a Silicon Lab CP210X USB to UR bridge COM4. Now take note of the COM4 because the flashing tool actually wants to know which COM4 you're using. So we go ahead and close this. Once the device driver is installed, you'll also notice when you plug in your USB linker that a little red light comes on. Okay, now that we have our device driver installed, the next thing we need to do is go download the KK Flash tool by Lady Zero. So find a link here in the text, KK Flash tool. Click on that. That brings you to his page, uh, Lazy Zero's page, and here at the table of contents, click on download. That brings you down to the different versions, and you want to pick up a beta version, but I'm going to take the latest stable version, uh, Windows, point version 0.74. Click on that, and say save file. Wait for the download to finish. Okay, there it is. What you want to do is extract all. So just extract all to folder on your desktop. And then you can delete the zip file. So you have it here. And then there is a 32-bit and a 64-bit version. 
Okay, so at this point, before we start the tool, we we'll make sure we have our USB linker plugged in. So I have my little USB extension here. I'm gonna go ahead and plug it in. I get the red light. And then go ahead and start up the KK Flash tool. Okay, so I have 64-bit windows. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and double click on that to start it up. It is a Java application. Okay, this is a KK Multicopter Flash Tool. Let's go from the top down here. The first thing we want to do is change the programmer to the Turnigy USB linkers way up at the top. It's the second one, the version that we're using here. We select that. The next thing you want to do is select the port in which the device driver installed to. So if you remember, in my case it was COM4, so go ahead and pick that. And we come down and where it says choose your controller, this is where we change to Atmega 8 base brushless ESC. Now you don't need to re-enable the bootloader, the bootloader will remain on the ESC. These already have a bootloader. Okay, so once you select that, then you come down, and here's where it's very important to know what kind of ESCs you have. In my case, I have got um, the Hobby King um, F20 amp um, brushless ESCs, and the um, image that's required for that ESC is ESNFET. So go ahead and pick the correct, and if you're not sure about which one to pick, there is a repository on um, OpenPilot, and I have a link to it. Um, if you go to openpilot.org, they have something called the Rapid ESC Database, and they have a whole list of all of the different ESCs out there that people flash Simon K to. And it will tell you in this column here which firmware image to use. All right. This will pick the latest version of Simon K once you pick your image. Then the next level here, and you can go back to older versions of Simon K um, within this list. And this list is updated over the internet um, for the latest versions for you, or you can click this little button here and it'll refresh. So no need to go download the images yourself, guys. So next, we're gonna plug in to our ESC. First, we have power up the quad. And if you're not, if you've never done this before, take your props off. I happen to know the KK2 board stays in safe mode. see here and I'm gonna click flash little red little green button over here and then it starts to go through it takes a little bit longer to flash through the signal cable than it does when you're directly attached to the board but it's quick nonetheless it's gonna be done a few more seconds here it's written it's reading just to verify and it's complete. So that's it guys. Hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, you can unplug the battery at this point. Unplug your ESC and move on to the next one.